welcome to the historic town of Indianola. Some things you'll actually be surprised to see around here. This was actually a major port, second to Galveston. And at one point, they actually did an experiment to go ahead and see. At one point, they did an experiment to see what type of animals were best to cross the western deserts of the United States. And they actually imported camels here. Whoa, you don't believe me. Well, let's go take a look at the marker. Yes, one hump, two hump, and hybrid hump camels came through. The Great Camel Experiment. What exotic immigrants. And you have 75 camels that come ashore in the 19th century. Woo, doggies. Of course, as you can see, this guy back here leading a camel through. Yeah, didn't believe me. This actually was a site where they tried camels. But since most of it came from Egypt and Western Africa, and people around here were pretty stubborn, thinking that, well, all of that was the Middle East, all of with the countries. That's kind of probably that's probably where that is probably where we got the idea that camels were the main source of transportation in the Middle East. However, that's not correct. Most of the time it was horses, Arabian horses. Welcome to Carl's Haven, Texas. The Carl's Haven, Texas, also known as Indianola, Texas. At one point in the 1800s, the 19th century, this was known as a hot and happening port. But, guys, in 1875, we had a hurricane that decided to go ahead and push it back about 100 yards or so. We don't know exactly what the amount was. And it used to go about 300 yards out into the water. In 1886, there was a final hurricane, and most of the people decided to go ahead and go from here to New Bronzeville's up the road. Chihuahuas! What are Chihuahuas doing all the way out here by the coast? Wow! Chihuahuas, Chihuahuas. I bet their bark was bigger than their bite. Between 1844 and 1887, Indianola became a very high cosmopolitan port city. But of course in 1886, it was destroyed almost entirely by a hurricane. And most people decided to live, to move. Most people decided to move. So this particular road was part of a trade between Mexico and Indianola. Chihuahua Road. What a name for a road. But of course it went to the city of Chihuahua, Mexico.
Well, this wonderful stone marker, according to one of the townsfolk that I was able to talk to, didn't want to be filmed. This used to be the marker to the old cemetery. It was the corner of the cemetery. And in this direction was actually the cemetery, which now apparently seems to be a field. The other cemetery that I was at wasn't too bad. This one, for some reason, gives me the creeps. What well, looks to be boots. As a marker, I'm sure this is more of erosion, but that so looks like boots and legs. Businesses still thrive down here in Indianola. There is a actual fishing marina where the fishing marina of course comes a bait and tackle shop and you still have to have your trees and lawn taken care of. So there must be a few people who live around here or the ghosts like to have everything manicured. The actual only abandoned building I was able to find in a ghost town that was actually worth taking a picture of. This town must have truly been absolutely, totally destroyed in that last hurricane. The one of 1886. Yes, that palm tree is actually growing out of the building. Holy absolute shite. Where's the ghost? Where's the ghost? Ah, we just went through a ghost town. Part of it. This is going to be part one of Indianola Ghost Town. And what is going to be the start of Ghost Town series. Hope you enjoyed what we had. Now if you liked it, let's go ahead and turn that thumbs button blue. Stay out that subscribe button. Put any thoughts down in the comments below.